Well, let's just tell you what we've done today then, shall we? Had his breakfast and then we went across to, across the XL to the Custom House Docklands Light Railway where we caught the train into Tower Gateway. Multiple tickets, two adults, confirm. That's a bit daft asking me not to lose them. Doors opening. Keep mind the doors. Doors will place it. Enjoying your first ride on the underground? Well, this is our day, the underground. Well, it's Docklands Light Railway. But it, it ends up being the underground. Or does it? I no, I think Tower Gateway is on top. Brand new. I know. When we came to the Britannia Hotel, only hotel on the whole of Canary Wharf. And there's the tower in the background. Sorry? Yeah. We started here at Custom Dales and we've gone all the way now to here. So, Tower Gateway. Street. And this is the street. <laughs> no one left one, well, it's a bit more. Doors opening. Yeah, doors opening. Which way is the street? Closing. This way? And there you are, we're in London. Welcome to London. Yeah, happy we've made it. Yeah, oh yeah. I've never had any doubts. Never had any doubts? Nor did I. Only a few. Little bit of anxiety, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> so, we are heading this morning, ultimately, to our visit with the Shard. And then we are going for dinner later at the London Steakhouse. In a bit further into the town. So for now, we're having a slow walk down the side of the Thames up to the Shard, which is there in the distance. And we're sort of going to be right up at the top of it. That'll be fun. We walked from Tower Gateway down over Tower Bridge. It was a beautiful sunny morning, wasn't it? You don't fancy going up there, though. Yeah. Up there. Yeah. Oh, I get in free if you go. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to have a look at it up on off of us, see if that's worth doing. And we had a lovely walk over Tower Bridge, and then we got to a lift that was broke well this is uh, Shades of Las Vegas that's the first uh, accessible lift out of action and then we went to um, well we found a lift that took you down onto Duchess Walk I thought it was called Queen's Walk that part but it's not apparently it's Duchess Walk which takes you past the uh, HMS Belfast I don't know I spotted that. Hey, it works! Back on track. Door opening. 
And then she's coming down the plate. You are here. Tell me there's not steps. Right, we are on Duchess Walk. I thought it was Queen Walk. Queen Walk's further up then, maybe. Now, how pleasant is this? Very nice. What a beautiful day. I've only ever had nice days when I've come to London. I wonder if Kimberley can remember me bringing her to the HMS Belfast. So we walked past the Belfast, didn't we? Yeah. And then we walked up the riverside until we got to Hayes Galleria. Now, I'd already looked on Google at half past five that morning because that's what you do when you can't sleep. And we couldn't get off at London Bridge because it's just steps and I couldn't find any other way of getting off. But there's a place called Hayes Galleria, which I thought was a shopping centre, but it's actually just like a roof between two buildings and it's lined with ni nice little cafes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, over there. So this is the Queen's Walk, but at the other end of the Queen's Walk is only steps up onto London Bridge, so I don't think you can get out up there. So we're going this way. We've got plenty of time anyway. It's a cute little restauranty thing. So we went up there because we were heading for the Shard, that was the um, first objective and we got a booking at the Shard for 12 o'clock to go and have a look at the um, view from the Shard and we stopped off at a little restaurant in the Hayes Gallery called Sank. You've literally just had breakfast, you don't want a croque monsieur. I could eat a croque monsieur, and I quite fancy a croque monsieur, but we've only just had breakfast. Yeah, no, I'm just going to have some more. Pastries, yeah. Plain croissant, almond croissant. No. I'll have a muffin, I think. Sort of flavoured muffin. So, yeah. It's a very pretty little spot. Found by accident yeah. during my planning session at half past five this morning. <laughs> We're amazingly friendly guy served us, didn't he? Called Gary. Oh, was it? I didn't get his name. Oh, yes. Oh, he got, he got his telephone number. No, well. it was yeah. only that the waitresses kept chatting. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, she did. She kept calling him Gary. Didn't he? he was so friendly and so funny. And, um, yeah, we had a cup of coffee there, didn't we? And a cup of tea. And then we headed through out the other side of the Galleria, straight under London Bridge Station. I've seen a piano in St Pancras, but I've never seen a church organ in, a, in the middle of a train station. That's a new one. And out the other side, and you are at the Shard Shangri-La Hotel. It couldn't be any easier, actually. I thought it was going to be a really hard um, slog, hard push through all the streets, and actually it was a doddle, weren't it? Um, just around the corner from the Shangri-La, very difficult to say, um, is the entrance to the viewing area and we were more or less straight up there weren't we? They were very very helpful and we ended up very quickly on the 69th floor. Oh, oh my god look how high we are. <laughs> I'm oh god it's a bit, oh that's a bit disconcerting being that close. I think we must have to go through there. Right, Tower Bridge is 213, ben, Big Ben is 316, St Paul's is 365, then London I've been on that haven't we, 443, BT Tower, 581, the Gherkin, 590, 738, 756, Canada Square, 
770. Oh my god, it's a thousand and sixteen feet. Hello. What's this? Oh, oh well. Thank you very much. It's very tea. Everything's automatic. You will go halfway before changing to another lift and the exit is behind you. Excellent. Have a great time. Thank you. Everything is all automatic. <laughs> Lift to ourselves. Please wait for a while. Please wait for a while. Please wait for a while. A while. Please wait for a while. <laughs> Define a while. Oh, look at the roof. Oh my god. Not on 30 street floors, is it? Not that fast. New York, New York. I don't think New York, New York was that fast. That's made me as pop. Hello there. Hi. Good morning, you are this way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This way. Yeah. Oh, they're probably to that way, aren't they? Yeah, we don't need to go. Thank you. You're currently level 32, which is about as high level as the nine. You'll be heading to level 68, and then you can access our uh, indoor view gallery on level 69, and our outdoor skylight on level 72. Mm -hmm. Once you get up, just ask for the accessibility lift, which will be towards your left. Just ask my colleague, there'll be one waiting for you outside the room. Okay, well, thank, thank you. Enjoy. Outside? I didn't realise you got an outside view gallery. You were not there. 76. Well, it's only 69, it's seven more floors up. You've got to go up there. 69, he said, something's bad. Yeah, inside, there. and then 76 outside. Right. Don't be a coward. Who lives on 34 to 69 then? Oh, my ears just popped again. 69. How fast is that? They said it's the fastest lifts people have ever seen. No, I don't think they feel it's, it's a nice I've smooth lift, isn't it? Do you there. remember that time we went on Empire State Building? That really did go. Hello. You in gallery then? And here you are. Wow. I can't believe we're just down on that bridge. So, where's the Galleria? There, we've just been in there, having a coffee. There's the Belfast. Can you see there, too much Belfast? We'll put you in this corner. Toy trains. Oh, well, my ears are still popping. So, we are over in the middle of that lot there. That's where the yacht is, somewhere tucked in that lot. Have you seen the airport from here? If you watch a plane taking off, you'll see the plane coming up out of the middle of the city. I want to look around here. How far can you see? It isn't as high as the Patronus. Don't feel that high, because that they were. You felt to put your glass on that. Hmm? This is just having prosecco. Hmm? This is just having prosecco. How do we? I don't like prosecco. I want to do a prosecco. Oh, right, so there's London Eye. 
That's the Millennium Bridge, that little tiny thing. And where's Big Ben then? It must be over there somewhere. Oh, there's Big Ben, I can see Big Ben. It's amazing how many trains come into London to the same come up here to your train. Yeah, and then we went up another couple of floors to the 72nd floor, didn't we? Which is the outdoor area. A little bit cooler up there. Uh, but again, brilliant view, lovely sunny day. 69 floors now. Plane going to Ethan. So we've done that and then we headed straight back down and then we got a meal at the London Steakhouse book for half past four which was up at it's on Middlesex Street up near Liverpool station didn't stay up the shard very long there's not that much to do actually once you've had a look around so we came straight back down and we decided to have a you wanted to go around the Tower of London you've never been there have you I haven't been there since I was 11 so we went round the Tower of London and we went and saw the Crown Jewels because that's just about the only place that's wheelchair accessible, isn't it? <laughs> 